a homecoming royalty by senior student body vice president Cassie Hackett and student body historian Jarek Padamio. On behalf of the Aztec High School Student Council, we would like to welcome you to the 2010 Homecoming Royalty Halftime Show. And now for our homecoming court. Representing the freshman class is Autumn Sutherland and Philip Lane. Autumn is the daughter of Bobby and Heather Sutherland. She has three siblings, Evie Ray, Dylan, and Jared. She is currently a member of the girls' volleyball team, and she also plans on competing in track and basketball. The most memorable moment at AHS so far was winning one of the games at freshman orientation. One lesson Autumn has learned from her parents is to never forget where she came from and to always be nice to people because you never know what other battles they're fighting. After high school, she plans on traveling the world for a year and then attending college to become an athletic trainer. Woo! Adi! So is the son of Mike and Lynn Lane. He has three siblings, Julianne, Kevin, and Laura. She is a member of the cross-country team in 4-H. One thing that Philip values most in li is life, liberty, and his own pursuit of happiness. A lesson that his parents have taught him is to do it right or don't do it at all. He sees himself in 10 years as a ninja. P.S. He's right behind you. Representing the sophomore class is Kelsey Gary and Cameron Nash. Ah! Kelsey is the daughter of Elaine and Dwayne Gary. Her older sister is Megan. She's legit. Kelsey is a member of the girls' soccer and track teams and is also a sophomore class officer. At Kugler, she received the C.V. Kugler Award and has been awarded the Tiger Pride Award and other numerous athletic awards. People would be surprised to know that she camped in a tent for six weeks while traveling the Alaskan Highway with her family and dog in a minivan. Ten years from now, she sees herself graduated from college and Amen. traveling the world with her sister. <laughs> Stephen and Kathleen Nash. She is a member of SCA and competes on the varsity soccer and track team. Cameron is also Isn't a sophomore student council officer. His parents have taught him to always live up to his potential. <laughs> After high school, he plans on attending Fort Lewis College and would like to get a degree in the medical field. <laughs> okay, man. Woo, Our man. senior class attendants are Kendra okay. Mitchell and James Wolf. Jessica, Layla, Juliana, and Josh. Kendra is a member of the varsity volleyball team and competes on the basketball and track team. She loves playing the piano and is quite good. Nice she plans on attending college at BYU, Hawaii, or UCLA. Her parents have taught her to give 100% in everything that she does. James is the son of Tyne Belinda Slope. She has a younger sister, Danielle. She is the junior class vice president of the Northwest James. District Student Council first vice hey. president. James also competes on the AHS, AHS track team. His parents have taught him to look at the situation from every point of view. His biggest pet peeve is pessimistic people. James plans on attending college and earning a degree where he can work with people and take home a huge paycheck. The thing he values most in life is his family and the time spent with them. So money and first and then family. That's what I heard. Now for the senior class attendance. Our first couple representing the senior class is Jesse Baxter and Sterling Farnsworth. <laughs> this is the daughter of Cheryl and Raymond Baxter. She is being escorted by her brother, Jeffrey. She's a member of the Varsity Girls Soccer and Track Team, the FBA, and Student Council. She has received the All-Academic Award in Soccer and Track for the past three years. After high school, she plans on attending NMSU and getting into the pre-med program. She would like her soccer team to know that she loves them and wouldn't have survived high school without them. Sterling is the son of Rex and Sherry Farnsworth. He's being escorted by his mother, Sherry. He has four older brothers and a younger sister. He is captain of the varsity soccer team and is a member of the cross country track team. Last year, he received two gold medals at the state track meet and was the center of the year in soccer. A lesson that he lives by is that blood is thicker than water. Family is the most important in and special aspect in his life. After high school, Sterling plans on attending ASU and getting a degree to teach English. Ten years from now, he sees himself teaching high school in English, married with two children, and living in Phoenix. <laughs>
Taylor is the daughter of Tiffany McGeary. She's being escorted by her grandfather, Ronnie Seif. She has two brothers, Zach and Tristan. She's a member of the varsity girls soccer and softball team. People would be surprised to know that she likes to read and that she does own a few dresses. <laughs> After high school, she would like to attend college on a soccer scholarship and earn her degree in athletic training. She would like to thank her mom, Jacob, Aunt Heather, and her grandma and grandpa for always being there for her. Tyler and Sister Sarisha. He is a member of the varsity football and baseball team. He is most proud of his mom. She has always been there for, for him through thick and thin and has always supported him. After high school, he plans on taking the lease operating course at San Juan College. Aztec Brotherhood Football. Never forget. Our next couple is Arlie Montoya and Darian Chavez. Arlie is the daughter of Cheryl Yardman and Terry Montoya. She's being escorted by her mother and father. She's a member of the girls' soccer team, FCA, and student council. A lesson that she lives by to finish when she starts. People would be surprised to know that she's a grand cow. When she graduates, she plans on going to college and getting her degree in cosmetology to become a magazine editor. The thing she values most in life is her relationship with her sister, Chelsea. Darian Chavez is the son of Deborah and Damien Chavez. She has a younger sister, Danica. She is a member of the varsity football team and plans on competing in basketball and baseball. She is a three-year varsity letterman and has also received the Tiger Pride Award. A lesson his parents have taught him is to don't be a crybaby and always act like a gentleman. He is most proud of his sister, Danica, for her achievements in athletics. After high school, he plans on going to college, get a life, and a hot wife. <laughs> Our next couple representing the senior class is Paige Hemmingson and Chase Snyder. Paige is the daughter of Tanya Hemmingson and Mike Hemmingson. She has three siblings, Mickey, Vance, and Lauren. Paige is involved in FDA and is our student body president. People would be surprised to know that she is still scared of the dark. Thanks a lot, paranormal activities. She's most proud of her middle sister, Nikki. She's her best friend and loves her very much. After high school, she plans on going to school somewhere to become something and get rich. Ten years from now, she plans on being a bodybuilder. The thing she values most in life is her relationship with God and her family. Chase is the son of William and LaVonda Snyder. He has two sisters, Lachey and Lindsay. He is a member of the varsity soccer, cross country, and track team. He's also a member of FCA, FFA. He has received the Tiger Pride Award the past four years. His most memorable moment was becoming the FFA president. He believes in always being truthful to yourself. After high school, Chase plans on attending college somewhere in state and get his degree in design. And our 2010 homecoming king and queen is Stephanie Session and Jesse Abernathy. by her mom and dad. She has a younger sister, Kelsey. She is a member of the volleyball program, a student council officer, and a member of the National Honor Society. A lesson her parents have taught her is that life isn't always easy. You have to work hard and give your best effort to be truly successful, to make it where you want to be in life. People would be surprised to know that she loves to hunt. Ten years from now, she sees herself living somewhere other than New Mexico, <laughs> making money, hunting and fishing, and living life to the fullest. Ha, ha, ha. 